This is how you can get over 144 FPS guaranteed on any low-end PC. I've actually achieved this on my $200 laptop with Vega 7 graphics. Thousands of players use this very specific custom OS which fully optimizes their PC better than any tweaking software could. But it comes with a downside though. Before we can cover all that, I have to give you some context so that throughout this video I can turn you into an expert in this topic. My mission is to make competitive gaming more available for a larger audience and the following method will ensure you a realistic performance improvement that will settle at around 144 FPS, which is very realistic even for low-end hardware. What I'm talking about guys is called Atlas OS. It's a new operating system designed specifically for gaming, which basically removes all of the unwanted software and bloatware out of your Windows. Here's a quick comparison how resource-hungry Windows 10 was before I applied the Atlas OS pack. And afterwards on both the RAM usage and total processes, Atlas OS is only using one third of what Windows used to utilize in idle state. This is especially insane for low-end PCs with 4 to 8 gigs of RAM and a weaker CPU. But the installation is kinda tricky, so therefore pay attention and I will guide you through everything step by step. First of all guys, the boring part, we have to reinstall Windows and therefore we need to google the Windows Media Creation Tool. Now keep in mind, you can apply this directly on your PC, but the better way is to use a USB stick, since doing this from external source gives you the option to completely wipe your drive. When you just apply this to your PC, you know, just simply click on the tool and go for the installation, there's still gonna be data left on your PC, which isn't optimal to say at least. It will still work completely fine guys, but it's always better to wipe like everything you know, so that you get an actual fresh copy of Windows. Next up, we're going to head to Atlas OS, which is the main site and download both files which are available directly on the homepage. Here now we have the option to directly put them on the USB drive as well, or we get them afterwards after installing Atlas OS on this PC. Both works theoretically, but this is a little bit more convenient since I'm already using USB drive. Now all you guys gotta do is launch the installer directly from your PC or do it with the USB stick method. We just simply have to restart it, press F10 and then select the USB stick and then go simply through the whole entire installation menu. It's really not hard at all, you just simply have to select which Windows version you want guys, for me it was Windows 10 Pro. Then of course you also have to activate your Windows key again and then decline all of these security services where Windows is basically asking me to collect data off my PC. Always just go through the whole entire list and always spam no, disabling all of these, we don't want them. Now once we're in a fresh version of Windows, we open up the Atlas OS file and run the Disable Automatic Driver Installation Registry Tweak. This is important so that we can directly stop any unnecessary Windows updates we don't want. Then we're going to run AME Wizard Beta Tool and select the Atlas Playbook version 0.32, which is the latest version at the time of recording this video. Next up, we're going to disable security features to allow the installation. So simply click under Run Action and make sure to disable everything security related on your Windows. Real-time protection and all of the other services. It's anyways always good to get an actual antivirus since these work a lot better. Then we can close this window and continue for the installation. The tool is now analyzing our PC and checking if we also have a legit Windows key since of course this is still Windows, just a modded version. Now continue for the installation and then it's going to ask you configure options where we can click under select options and here again you have to select if you want to disable the Windows Defender but of course if you don't want a third party virus protection make sure that this one stays enabled. Now disabling mitigations helps all the CPUs especially to run smoother. I would say anything before a Ryzen 2000 series it's again a security thing so you have to decide for yourself. Personally I left it on since it's a pretty up to date CPU it's a Ryzen from the 5000 series so therefore here it doesn't matter too much. The next up I disabled core isolation and removed Microsoft Edge, Bluetooth and power saving mode to improve performance and finally I selected Brave. But you can choose whatever you guys want to. They give you a selection of browsers which you can pre-install and now we're good to go and click at the next and the installation will start. Your PC is going to restart and now everything is tweaked already. You will have this Atlas OS file on your desktop where you could manually apply a bunch of registry settings and re-enable some services in your Windows. There are also instructions on how to install applications. If you run into some issues since Atlas OS might make it a bit harder to get some of them, don't worry, all the popular ones are still easy to work with, like Discord, Steam, Epic Games, they all work. And with that, we are done for the most part now. Now get all the latest GPU drivers and I would highly recommend you to watch my CPU optimization guide to get even better performance out of your Windows PC. Now all you gotta do is hop into your favorite games and hopefully leave a sub down below guys, I would highly appreciate that. And as mentioned, check out my CPU optimization guide.